I'm live. What are you doing? Leave me alone. Yeah, we're live now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to GVTV. That's right, Good Vibes Television. I am one of three. I am RL, and I here again, once again, for the what, tough week, tough episode. My man, uh, DJ PRS1. The little thing is his is caller sign, and the lovely <laughs> Savanya. And we have a special guest again, what is blessing us with his presence. That's what I'm talking about, Mr. Logan H. James. Yeah, I'm in the building, man. Logan H. James, a.k.a. 7 p.m., man. Go string bad, bad on our platform. You see it right there. You know what I mean? That's right. Appreciate you uh, coming back, man. I really enjoyed you the last time you was on the show. Appreciate you coming back and uh, spending some more time with us. Right. And right. I appreciate y'all even sending out the invitation, man. You know what I mean? Last time was, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I had a flash. You know what I mean? I'm hey. talking about stuff. That's when I feel like we about to get some real talk. You know what I mean? Some real <laughs> Oh, absolutely, absolutely. For uh, absolutely, for those who don't know, tonight we're going to speak on racism. Uh, does it still exist in this country? I think we all know that answer, but um, no, it don't exist. We're, we're <laughs> going to speak, we're going to speak on it, and uh, you know, we we would like whoever's watching, please uh, share your thoughts and opinions, your feelings, uh, as we explore. Uh, this uh, and it shouldn't be controversial, but for whatever reason, it is a controversial. I, I still can't get past the um, all that we go through in this country. Man, when I say we, I'm not. I'm talking about people of color, you know. Um, but I, I'm not going to start it off. I'm not going to start it off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let um, I'm going to let DJ PRS one because he like he, he like to go last. I'm going to let him go first this week. Uh, especially for being a colored man in this country, but you're, you're not even from this country. You well, know. I'm gonna give a little bit. Of, I'm gonna give a little bit of my background before we start. Um, so a lot of people really get confused on what I am. Um, for years I've been, but um, <laughs> um, basically I was. I don't know if I should say basically, but I was. My mother is uh, a mixed. Black with um, Indian, uh, like East Indian, you know, Caribbean Indian. And my father is Indian. You know, he's Indian. He's straight Indian. He might have some mixtures in there that they didn't tell him about. But um, <laughs> um, I've, I've been told I'm Puerto Rican, Hispanic. I've been called a Mexican forever because I've been short, you know, because it's my skin color. But because um, for some reason, I, I have really mild Indian features. Um, I think that's based, you know, because of my mother. Um, but... I've had, you know, people see my mother and go, oh, my God, you a nigga. You know, so basically, <laughs> right, I'm black. So to that point, you ain't white, you black. So, um, but yeah, you know, racism for me, um, I got to say in the island that I came from, coming, coming from the Virgin Islands, coming from Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, I'm on the mix, island. Right, right. There's a mix of cultures, a mix of um uh, races and stuff like that. I was not, I, I grew up there most of my life, went to school, college and all that stuff. Um, but we never saw it. We all got along as kids and stuff like that. There was no black versus um, white and all that stuff. You know, we had, you know, all races down there. Chinese, we got Chinese, Caribbean people, we got everything. We all got along. Everybody, you know, mingled and all that stuff. I saw a little bit of it, you know, in some of the, um, when it came down to Indian marriages, but this was back when I was younger. Um, we had, you know, the, the a lot of um, the Indians didn't want it, and this is talking about the real old Indian parents. They want them to get your 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 sons or your daughters getting married to a black man. You know what I mean, and and stuff like that. But it was not as heavy until I came to the United States, and that's when I really was. I really saw it, you know. So, um, but and. I swear, I see it every day. So it, it's one of those things that, that that it's like, and I've seen it from from basically white people as well as black people. I've seen, and a lot of people, black people would not say they're racist, but I've seen it from that perspective. You don't realize you're racist, you know. Um, some of the comments a lot of black people say they really biased to black people, and that's it. And um, 
I, I, I got to say, I was going to say this earlier, um, later on into the show, but I've, I've realized that um, a lot of times we misunderstand what racism is when it turns to, and, and, and for white folks, a lot of times black people see white folks as being racist, and sometimes they're not what it is. I think white people are more ignorant because sometimes they do the same shit to their own race. And that's when you realize they ign- they're they ignorant, not racist, if you understand what I'm saying, because they'll do the same shit to, to their own people. You know what I mean? To their own culture, their own race, you know, stuff like that. So a lot of times that's, I think racism gets lost in translation sometimes. Yeah, I agree with that. Right. I, I agree with that. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Mm-hmm. I was actually going to uh, say that, you know, right. you have so many people out here. That that really don't know what racism is. They they think they know what racism is, but they they don't really know what it is. I posted something the other day. It's not black against white. It's black against racism. Right. You right. know, understand what it is. What it, understand what you're fighting, what you're dealing with first. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, instead of just jumping out there. And that's why I'm I'm glad Logan, you're on here because there were several people that came to mind for this show. But they don't have the right mentality. You know, they, 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 they get angry, you know, and they just start bringing up all kind of different events. And don't get me wrong, because it didn't get people riled up. But if all you want to do is get people riled up, and you don't want to bring um, some kind of solution to the problem or right, what it right. is that we can do. If all you want to do is get people riled up, then, you know, yeah, we can have a show and we can just grab pitchforks and some shotguns and you know that's what we'll do but um understanding what racism is in the world i think that's one of the things that we 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 got to get a lot more people on board with right what do you what do you think logan can he freeze i think he's frozen yeah yeah, I think forgive, he, uh, to, to, to all I guess out there, you got to forgive Logan. He's, he's actually driving. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way in. But um, can, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah we hear you now. We got you back now. Okay, so I have a couple that said I'm a I'm a I'm a Muslim man. I'm a Muslim black. I'm a black Muslim man in America. Right. 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 So do I. Do I believe that racism and prejudice is is uh, is still alive and kicking in America? Yes, but I have something that I'm about to shake up, and I want you to think about what I'm about to say with an open mind, right? Is it wrong to be racist? No. Is why white people saying that they don't like black people is ignorant if they don't understand the concept of reason why they don't like us, right? right? However, if you look at the time and the, what they're saying that the reason why they don't like blacks or they don't like Hispanics or they don't, is because, quote unquote, we come in to take their country from them, right? Me personally, I believe the worst thing that ever happened to black people was integration. I think that was the worst thing that ever happened to us is because we went to somebody else's like you we all have businesses or we or we or we know business owners, right? right? Imagine you have supported this business your whole life, right? And you go to the owner and you say, Look, make me one of the owners of this business because I have supported this business my whole life. That is essentially what we did to them. Is say, hey, we're gonna come. You brought us here, yes. You made us work here, yes. You have to make us even because we are people just like you. And they're like, no. Mm-hmm. When in all actuality, because of freedoms, quote unquote, we have the freedom to establish our own systems for ourselves. However, we are relying continuously on systems that were not built for us and wondering why they do not benefit us. Right. So, me personally, I have been a victim of, of racism. I used to go door to door in Pittsburgh, um, Pennsylvania. Right? I used to go door to door in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I'm in the hits. 
and I'm talking about the hicks. I'm talking about the hicks with the sticks. The sticks with the hicks, right? <laughs> I'm right. knocking on the door. Hey, how you doing? I'm Logan. I have cable. Are you interested? I don't buy from niggers. Whoa. Wow. Good Damn. thing that I'm not niggers and I am actually here representing a cable company because cable companies can't be called <laughs> niggers. Right. Right? And I'm like, you know what, sir? You have a great day because I realized that you just shorted yourself an opportunity because mm -hmm. of ignorance. ignorance. I'm not ignorant. So I'm not going to get all upset with you because you don't like me and you don't know me. There's a lot of people that have reasons for not liking me. And exactly. I don't like I'm not upset with them. And they got reasons for not liking me. I don't like everybody neither. So I can't be upset just because you don't like me. However, as a man, one thing that I can say as a man, I don't care what color, race, whatever you are, you will you will never, ever, never in life disrespect me. Mm -hmm. You feel like that's not going to happen and think that it's going to be okay with me. So if you're racist, so to, to all the cameras out there, right? To all the to all the police patties, I don't mind that you have ill that you have that you that you feel any way about me. I would too if I knew that the person that I'm looking at was was in a superior race. I'm not gonna go there, but it's okay. But you, you get what I'm saying. I, I'm not upset. It's right. okay. Mm -hmm. That's why I wear my new form of communication. Do I got my hat in here? Show you how I'm really saying. Hello. <laughs> insert, insert plug here. <laughs> What's up on my hat? <laughs> Miss Sad. Yes. I know you have some thoughts on this. Yeah. So, um, as a as a woman, and um, I haven't experienced like racism as a black woman here in the wilderness of North America, but I can say that. Been in the um, Nation of Islam since 1993, you know, and being taught and seeing how um, different colors treat different colors of um, black people. I have watched, um, growing up, I lived in a, 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 a community that was black and white, but it was like the blacks was in their own community. And the whites was like down below. And if you went in their community, they ran you out. I have stories growing up where a black family grew into, I mean, moved into a community um, in Hampton back in the day. And, um, ran, you heard about that story, how they ran that family out because they didn't want them there because of their property value. Um, my grandma lived in that area since I was a little girl. And so I had Caucasian friends and black friends and stuff like that, but we were treated different. You know, we if we went to their house, we were treated different. We couldn't get in the pool with them, you know, all kinds of stuff. So at the time, you know, as um being young, I didn't understand that. But I always wondered like why why do you treat us like that? Even when I used to get on the bus, it was like, why do you treat us or why do you think that you're better than us? Right. And so like Personally, I have I haven't had anybody uh, attack me in that um, state of mind, but the fact that growing up and seeing it and watching it and watching it on TV, how our black men um, get killed for no reason, you know, just like the young man that got killed recently down in Georgia, you know, mm -hmm. um, the story is he was just jogging and the father and son did what he did, and I think that's a shame. Like we still in we in 2020 and we're still dealing with a lot of racism and a lot of people are still with their head stuck in the sand saying, you know, um, no, I don't think that it is. Um, I think it's just a misunderstanding or you know, they want to make an excuse about what is going on. You have to really look at facts and what's going on. You know, right. we even go as, as black people go and see these Korean stores and support them and they treat us poorly. You know, we, we, we didn't ask to come to the country. We were brought to this country. They came to this country on their own. And they treat us just as bad as um, the Caucasian people. <laughs> we, um, we spend our money in their stores. You know, we support them. Mm -hmm. But they don't want us really there. They only want us there when we're buying something. So racism to me is just not a black and white thing. It's a culture thing to me. Right. Absolutely. I think that we get it from all ends. Mm -hmm. All ends. And then um, I know okay. a lot of times people say that, you know, we need to get over it. It was back then. No, 
I would never get over it. I would never, because we never got justice for anything. Not for the lynchings, not for the killings, not for them hanging people and cutting their babies out their stomach, not for raping our women, not for um, beating our men and hanging them from trees. We still haven't gotten justice for that. You know, and I know a lot of people don't about that, but the truth is the truth. You have to deal with the truth. And it needs to be talked about because a lot of our um, children and our children's children, they are so protected from that. You know, and raising my girls, I used to talk to them about that. We we used to watch movies about that. And when right. we would when we had answer and question um sessions, when we would talk deeply about that, because my thing is you have to know where you come from. You know, you have to see what they have done year and year and year and what what black people had to fight for to even just sit at a table, to drink at a water fountain, you know, mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. come in the front door. You know, thank a lot that I wasn't um, born in them times, but we still get it now. It's just a whole different type. It's called jail, incarceration. Right. You know? I ain't gonna hold you though. I'm not my. I'm not my ancestors. I'm. I'm ready to fight. Like, like, <laughs> listen. It, it come down to this question. You know, it's there. What you gonna do about it? You get what I'm saying? Like, what you gonna do about it? What we gonna do? How we gonna act? And a lot of people think that you gotta act with violence. You really don't. No, the real really don't. overcoming racism, like real true racism, is supporting your own people. That gives you a community. We don't uh, the dollar in our and our community probably go probably stay in two, maybe two and a half hands. Right. You know what I mean? These other com- these other guys are, are letting money go like eight, nine times at a time. So I mean, like it comes down to you going like what are we going to do about it? Are we are we going to just sit and keep complaining, or are we going you know like we get upset when they like oh what about black on black crime? What about white on white crime? If we had our own news outlets, if we had our own any and everything, if we had our own doctor's office, our own lawyer office, our own uh, healthcare, our own and, and any our own government, our own mm-hmm. governmental systems. Mm-hmm. Like, we would we would be in a much different place, but it's just the fact that it's a lot harder to establish your own than going with the flow. It's it's I, I tell people this. It's like as it, as it you guys been out the country, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. What's the first thing you do when you out the country on leisure? You don't want me you, to answer that question. You exchange <laughs> your currency, right? Yeah. Right. You gotta exchange your currency. Right, right. Whenever those other countries come here, they exchange their currencies because they have a government backing them mm-hmm. with that currency. When did black people have a time to exchange any kind of currency? We were the currency. We never had, we don't have those systems in place to protect us. We don't have a government in place to protect us. We don't have a law enforcement in place to protect us. We know that we need these things, but we keep relying on the same people who are killing us to protect mm-hmm. us. Talk and wondering that. why we don't get that protection. It's like, it, I, what are we going to do about it? I see people all the time. I see, oh, I'm sick and tired of this. I'm sick and tired of seeing this. Are you really? Because I don't see you, I don't see you going out your way to go and support a black business. And I don't care about, oh, they don't have the greatest customer service because uh, uh, Chinese, them Chinese stores that you go to, they ain't got the customer service needed. They just want you in and out their face. Yep. Let's be, Let's be real. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. Like we we hold it we hold each other to such high standards that we don't hold anyone else to. Mm. You know what I mean? We don't hold any other race to the standards that we hold our, our, our brothers and sisters to, quote unquote. Right? Is they only your brothers and sisters when you need some when you need something from? Them. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? I I, I told my like dad. Always come back to the education part, teaching our people. Mm-hmm. You know, um, we have so many. Uh, people out here that's just misinformed, not in touch, but you know they're fast to jump on social media, and uh, you know hashtag woke. Uh, but they, they, they sit on the sideline. Nobody's active. Nobody's trying to uh, get involved. See what they can do to um, to help the situation. And it, like I said, uh, PRS one, you hit on something, and, and it, it just makes some sense. It's just you got to know the difference between you know prejudice bigotry mm-hmm. and racism it's, it's like what you said logan you 
you got to know what it is first. You exactly. got to understand it first. You got to, once you understand what it is, and it, you know, that one person should be trying to teach another person, someone who, who, you know, didn't see it the way they were supposed to see it. We got to look out for one another and start educating our people better. And it goes to, like you said, our, our own communities. And it, it can start with small stuff. One of the smallest things I think that, w- that should be easy to move is Black History Month. Mm. How, how often do you hear everybody say, yo, they gave us the, the shortest month of the year, but no one does anything. We'll talk about it individually. But as far as coming together and saying, hey, yo, this should be a curriculum. This should be something that, you know, hey, it's just as important as uh, knowing who George Washington is. You know, but that goes back, not to cut you off, that goes back to what um, Seven was saying earlier about um, like teaching. When you said, when you made that statement, it's like, um, but who's going to teach our children in these school systems when I was school system is governed by the same Ma- Malcolm X says it best. Right. Malcolm X says only a fool will allow his enemy to educate his children. Right. Uh-huh. What we so don't teach what... our children is is that Mal- Martin Luther King was murdered because he understood where Malcolm was coming from. Right. right. Martin understood that you cannot work with your oppressor to release your oppression. Mm-hmm. That's not going to work. Yeah. But we are when you're talking about education, it's deeper than just knowing who your leaders were. The issue is, is that our leaders are so comfortable in the hands and in the pockets of those who are greasing them. We're not holding our we don't hold our 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 leaders accountable. They can tell us anything, and we're like, well, he said he's gonna do it. And if they don't, we don't, we're not on them. We're not on them like we on our kids for not washing the dishes when we told them to. We put more pressure on our children than we do on our leaders. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I really believe, like, like now I'm seeing, you see people, like, I'm 29 years old, right? People in my generation are more prone to speak out because they know that where we were coming from isn't the right way. We made a wrong turn. We made a wrong turn. And it's up to and it's up to us that know better to say we made a wrong turn where we was come where we from where we were. We had to turn back around, and it's okay that we got to turn back around. We, we got to go in another direction. This equality make us equal. We don't we, we don't need to be equal. How can we be equal? How can we be equal? We don't have a system to fight that system. It's not like it's people that we're that we're looking at that we can attack. It's a whole system. That is built to fight us, mm-hmm. but we're not building a system to fight it back. Now, when you're saying that, right? When you say we're not building a system to fight it back, that 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 falls on our people, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. You know, and that's what, when I say self-educate. I'm not, you know, I'm talking about more than just, um, you know, the kings and the exes. I'm talking about Black Wall Street. I'm talking about uh, Mr. Mm-hmm. Garvey. I'm talking about mm-hmm. people further. I'm talking about. People who actually had the ball moving and uh, they they had to be cut short. You had to blow up Black Wall Street. You know, we got to build within our own first. And uh, so I agree with you wholeheartedly. But it seemed like the problem is, like I'm from Baltimore, you know, and the saying is like crabs in the burrow. You know, you see somebody starting to come up, you know, we'll we'll go ahead and and chop them down. Um, We don't have that, 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 that togetherness. You know, I can't agree with you on that. And the reason why I say that is because the reason why I say that is because we say that too much. Right. It's for black people on this one on this one platform. Right. Mm -hmm. I know of a group that is 50 black businesses strong that are supporting each other. We can keep saying that we don't do this and we don't do that. And we can keep telling ourselves that. Now I'm Muslim, but I know I don't know about y'all. I know that Christians say this all the time. There's that that the, that that there's power in the tongue, right? If we keep telling ourselves and keep beating ourselves down, how do we expect to rise up? And mm. we keep saying we don't stick together, we don't do this. Yes, we do. We do. We are doing it. We need to start publicizing that. Stop publicizing that. You know that it's cool to do so, 
X, Y, and Z. I got something for you then. I'm not, you know, I got something for you. And just, just keep in mind, I'm not debating you, but I just want you to think about this. Young man got gunned down two months ago. That was Dog and Mr. Omar, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody's upset, furious because, you know, the gentleman ain't get locked up till about a couple of days ago, right? Mm-hmm. But why is everybody all upset about that? Why, why are we upset about that? When we should have been upset and furious and did something damn near 20 years ago with Sean Bell. See, nothing has changed. So I, so for me, I, I see what you're saying, but it's the truth. We talk it, about it and we say we together, we need to come, but it's just not happening. We having too many of these events occur, reoccurring and then somebody saying, we got to stop saying it because we all come together. Then we should have came together for Sean Bell. You right. But this is the thing, though. If we keep saying we're not doing it, we won't do it. But if we keep saying, you got to think about this, bro. You were, you were trying, we are trying to recondition over three, over 250 years of oppression. Right. We still, do you, do, do you know where the word motherfucker come from? No, I don't. Motherfucker comes, I'm Jamaican, bro. Motherfucker comes from, Jamaica from the Jamaican islands where slave owners would make the biggest slaves have sex with their mothers to reproduce with a bag over their head. And that is a strong common word in our community. It is so much, there's so much detrimental things that have happened to us. There are kids who live in communities where they see other kids dying at large amounts at hands of those who look like them. Mm-hmm. That ain't got nothing to do with white people. They got everything to do with us not holding ourselves accountable. If you're not here to jump and be a part of the mission, we gotta hold you accountable. You gotta move. You we know you're not with us. We don't, we we can't, we cannot, we, we cannot be lax on these things. The Black Panther Party was great until it got and, and, and until it got infiltrated. We forgetting that the same systems that we set up. They use to benefit them. Mm-hmm. We 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 started the, the 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 welfare. The Black Panther Party started that. Marcus Garvey in there. We not taught that, and we taught that we they were told that black people the most people that's on welfare. That's not true. They just took what it is that we use for ourselves and did it with themselves. And instead of us seeing like we see we we fighting so hard. To ask for their acceptance. And we don't need it. Mm-hmm. We're more worried about being accepted in their rooms, in their boardrooms, than we are with being in our own boardrooms, being in our have, own houses. Think about it. When we create our own boardrooms, when we, um, we because we do have people who come up and created those boardrooms and do things, the, the strong platforms. And the, one of the first things we do, we tear them down. We look for uh, some kind of flaw. And now that we got social media, it's just like uh, Candace Owens. She went ahead and spoke on the uh, Mr. Amar thing, and not only did she speak on it and, and just speak so ignorantly on it, she dragged LeBron James into it. You see, that, that that's my problem but, with our people. And but that's why but hold like on, before you, before you even go down that road, RL, I want to stop you on one thing that you just said. That mm-hmm. we I have people who are who, who have built or they have built boardrooms. You don't build a boardroom unless you own it. Nothing that we have, we own. Think about that. You you buy a house, you still pay property taxes. That's a rental. You are renting that house. That's not an ownership. That's not ownership. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Boardrooms. We ain't talking about property. Even in the boardroom, you using. Let's let's look at it like this, right? Because every black person know drugs. Right, mm-hmm. a black person who drugs. If I come to you, if I come to you, if I come to you and I say, "Listen, bro, I got this work. I'm gonna give it to you. You owe me on the back end. Every time you come back and you come back and re up with me, you give me what I you give me what I told you that you owe me. You don't own your block. I do. You not the plug. I am. You are you. We're using money that they created, that they run, that they manage, that they control, and tell us what we can and can't do with." That's not that's not ownership. That's not ours. We haven't set up our own accounts. We don't have our own money. 
We don't mm-hmm. have our own currency. We don't have our own government. We don't have shit for ourselves. We are consent. We are con- that was what the that's what that's what we were supposed to get with reparations. Reparations was supposed to allow us to create our own. You got to go back, bro. Slavery only ended because we had outproduced the North. Slavery outproduced the North from the South. South was overproducing the North in currency and in production. That meant they were making more money in the South than they were in the North. It was going to create a whole new currency in America. That's why we were divided. That's why they said that we had to be free. That's why they said that that's why they gave us, quote unquote, liberties. We have no rights in this country. We have liberties. Mm-hmm. Black people have liberties, not rights. That's not something that they taught that we're taught in schools. That's not something that they're going to teach you and tell you that you're not that you don't have rights in this country. That you have liberties to be here. You're not like you are a quote unquote citizen, yes, but you do not have the same rights as a white Caucasian male or female in this country because of the systems that are in place for them. Mm. We have to do what they did in order to be here. They were not here. This was not their land. They left where they were because they were oppressed. Then they came somewhere else and oppressed other people because they felt like they had the upper hand. And then they then used with the same tactics that were being forced on them, on us, in order to create wealth and generational wealth for their children. We cannot create generational wealth with money, that with currency. I'm not going to keep saying money. With currency that we don't control. We have no say in. No kind of control in. So it's, it, it, it's those things that we have to teach. That is where I'm saying our leaders are failing us. Our leaders are failing us because we're putting them in a position to create these things. But they're not educating our people on that because it's not good for business for them. Their yeah. families are taken care of. If we switch it, it's going to take it's going to take a lot more work. And it's going to we as in us will not see the fruits of that labor. But I'm pushing because I want my son to live a better life. We don't live the, it takes a village to raise a child anymore. It's with black people, it's usually, I can do that myself. I can raise my kid myself until we're in trouble. And I, 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 we have to hold ourselves accountable. No, that's not true. No, 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 no. It's a, it's a village. No, I see you slipping, bro. I'm going to hold you accountable. And no, I'm not hating on you. I'm holding you accountable to doing better. No, I'm not hating on you. Let me show you how we can do better together. Let me help you. Let me educate you. Let me pull you aside. Right now is the perfect time for us to build our own systems. This is the this is the time to build wealth. This is the time for us to build wealth in our community. But yep. the, the issue is, is that we're going to sit, we're going to continue to blame racism, white people, the police for the reason why we're not progressing as people. When really it's the the history of people is continuously repeating itself. We have every opportunity to build our own shit. Right. So let me ask um, RL. So what is your your thought on that? Like what is your your opinion on and what is your advice on we as a community, as black folks can do better to um, for our for our society to progress because even though we think that it's not you know it's not a whole it's not a black thing or it's not a white thing we like he's saying we it's still oppression no matter what i mean you feel it when you go for a job you feel it when you go into these stores you feel it when you do this you feel it when you go you know about simple things so it's like we need a solution as a people to move forward forward for um our community and that's why, you know, racism, to me, it still exists. You know, it might not be like it used to be, but it's in a different form. Because there's no way in the world that somebody going to say racism don't exist when our black brothers are getting killed for no reason at all. You know what I'm saying? Our, white, our black women going to work and being harassed by their white bosses for no reason at all. Because this is what they're used to. So, like... um, I agree with the both of you guys. Like, I think that both of y'all have perfectly good points, you know, because I'm I'm in a generation where, you know, um, I feel like we need to do something when our black man get killed. And we should always be angry when one of them get killed. Not even just our black brothers, our Puerto Rican, our Spanish, you know what I'm saying? So my whole thing is, and I also feel when I look at my children that they are doing something different. They're not afraid at like, 
the old generation is. They're not afraid to speak out, speak their mind. You know, the minister said it perfectly when he was like, this generation has no fear. Like they have no fear, but their fear is just not, di is di is directed in the wrong way. If that fear was directed in a way to uplift and build and not do other things, then they would be so powerful. But you got to have young black men like Mr. Logan and a lot of other black men that I um, know that does push for that. So they do get offended when they when the old generation say, well, what are y'all doing? We're not doing anything. And we always going back to this, 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 this. And it's like, so my thing is because you and Mr. Um, DJ is an older guy. What is your solution or, or your advice to the younger generation, generation to move forward? You know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say something real quick because I want uh, PRS1 to jump back in it. Um, mm -hmm. it. It comes to support. You know, uh, I understand the currency thing, but right now we, we're just not, we're not there. We don't have it. But we do have a lot of people who are billionaires in this, this country, uh, black billionaires. And I believe we got behind them because I believe that, you know, Oprah is a good person and she means well. Uh, Michael Jordan, the same, same thing. Uh, Jay-Z, uh, Kanye, um, Magic Johnson, and uh, there's a few other names I, I can't mention. Um, if, we, if, if we were able to sit down kind of like at a round table and we had um, people to sit down with them, people that, you know, uh, from different communities, uh, well-structured communities, people who um, had it together, had a plan. And present it to these individuals because I've heard uh, Oprah say that, you know, she would like to start something like uh, Black Wall Street. She said it about 25 years ago. The problem is they get scared when they don't feel like they're going to get the support. And it's kind of a selfish thing, like, I'm going to lose it all. And I get them saying I'm going to lose it all because they're like, I work so hard to get it. But in order for the individuals who that's have the money and quote unquote power. We got to support them, but at the same time, not just support them, but we got to, we got to have a plan. We got to have, we got to make sure that it's well structured. You, you want people in place that can make moves and get into places that you can't get into. If I'm talking to my man, who's a good man and he, and he smarts and man, he got it together. But if he can't get into that door, then all we doing is holding conversation. And just because he know a man who knew a man, that's cool. Y'all y'all got the, the, the know-how. Y'all got the intel. But you can't get into that room. You know, when we talk about people in power, I don't even like to think about the politics anymore because I think we need to get away from the politicians. We have people who have made it successful as far as finances that can come together and provide an economy for the black community to start our own. But we got to support them. If all we're going to do is pop shots at them, then, yo, I mean, they're going to be hesitant. They're going to start thinking selfish, just like people who ain't even got it yet. They're going to be like, well, look, I, look, I made it. I ain't got it. They don't want if they tripping. I, I'm not going to go ahead and put my neck on the line and try to get in this room that I've been in and then be in the room I'm in and then be uncomfortable because the people behind me all of a sudden, yo, they talking, speak, they speaking reckless, they acting reckless. At the same time, yo, like I said, me, I take a look at Sean Bell because that was like the first, I, I was in my 20s. That was like the first thing that just, it just, I, it floored me. This man was leaving a party, had a brush in his hand, a bachelor party. Yo, they shot him over 50 times and nothing happened. I, I mean, I was around for, I'm, I'm going to get at you, Logan. I remember Rodney King. But, uh, you know, I was young and it was so many jokes about Rodney King that and it was no real social media, but it was just so many jokes about it. Uh, uh, Living Color made a joke. Black people was making jokes about it. They was on stand up making jokes about it. And then like 16 years later, you got Sean Bell and it just floored me like this is going to continue to happen. And it just continued to happen. But. We want to start our community. We, we want to start our own, but we won't get behind those individuals. Now, like I said, we get behind them. You just can't let them do what they want to do. You got to have some kind of plan of attack, something put down, something structured 
And you got to have the right people speaking for you. It is far too often we done promoted people like my man, um, what's his name? Jesse Jackson. Shaw. We, we, they, they got promoted and it's just like, yo, why, why were they ever promoted to speak for us? We put the wrong people in place. Like Logan, for instance, like for you, brother, I would love for you to go and represent us. Sit at the table and speak for some people. Some more like-minded individuals. But unfortunately, there's other people who will promote someone like Jesse Jackson. And then we all, they go to politics again. I I gotta say, bro, out of everything you just said, I'm sorry. Yeah, let Mr. Um DJ say something. He's been quiet up there, please. <laughs> I'm just taking it. I'm taking it all in, but basically all the facts that you know, you know, all you guys saying, it, 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 it to me, it, it, it all comes back to educating, educating. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, where do our most of the time, where do you see it the most? It's with some of our younger folks going. I, I, I make an example. Um. Unless it is a white establishment, you got the, the a, a group of young guys go in. Where you might have some older uh, black guys in the barbershop crew go in there. They shop, they're fine. Everybody's polite to each other, and all that stuff. You got a couple of young kids going there. Somebody ask them for help, and the first thing pops up, yo, yo, you you follow me because I'm black, you know, stuff like that. And I think I'm just using that as an example, but it comes down to us as parents. We got to start educated at home. We got to start educating our families at home about racism, about because I've actually seen a lot of things and I've actually heard a lot of, you know, um, um, you know, families or, or parents telling their kids, you know, they're basically telling them cre- creating ra- racism, you know, and I'm, 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 I've heard a lot of black men basically telling their, 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 their you got to don't trust these white people. Don't trust anybody. You understand what I'm saying? It's not don't just trust the white folks. Don't trust anybody. We got Indian people out here who think they real. We got African folks that come out here and always think they 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 better than us. It's 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 a lot of people come in and always people are, are always gonna think they're superior no matter what. Um, it's just you know it's not a black and white thing. You know it, it it's one of those things where we got to start educating our kids from home. We got to make we got to educate our kids to become the politicians. We got to educate our kids to become the lawyers, become the policemen. We want to fight all these little systems. We got to get in the system to fight it. We got to fight it from the inside. You can't fight from the outside. You're going to lose. You know what I mean? We got to make our kids leaders. You know what I mean? Too many of them ended up on the way on the wayside, on jails and all that crazy stuff. It's just the thing. But before, crazy. Um, Logan, mm-hmm. before Mr. Um, Logan say something, going back to what you said about um, making our children um, leaders, and we have to do it from the inside and outside, I think we have to do it from both angles. I think that right. you have to create it inside and outside. And the thing about it is we are our children's first teacher. You know, we can't allow anybody else to teach them about right. our culture because mm-hmm. nobody can teach a black person about their culture. Right. It's just, it's unreal. It's like mm-hmm. I can't go to a Chinese um, school and teach them about their culture because they live it. They right. deal with it every day. So um, I feel like just piggyback off what you were saying that we need to um, educate from both sides, but also I wanted to say something when it when it goes to um, when you we were about and one thing um, I remember when I was hearing a story about um, about um, slavery and how you know they would take the strong man out the house um, mm-hmm. to to intimidate the family. So they would put so much fear in the black woman. So when she was raising her son, she would put so much fear in them to, um, to respect the white man. I remember an older man telling me one day when he lived in um, South Carolina or something like that, his grandfather was walking down the street and a Caucasian man was walking down the street and his gra- he, no- he witnessed his grandfather stepping off the curb so the white man can walk, walk past. And I know a lot of times, you know, we try to not make it a black and white thing, you know, because like you said, we get treated bad by a lot of different races. But my whole thing is a lot of them different races didn't oppress us. You know, they didn't put fear into us, you know. So 
the thing about it is when we teach and train our children, a lot of uh, a lot of our women these days, when it comes to the police, you know, we teach and train. And some of the fathers to have this fear of the police and the white man because we don't want them to get killed. But all we're doing is doing the same thing that we were taught back in slavery. It's the same thing. It's just a different method in a different time. And we got to be mindful of that. You know, of course, I don't want my son to go out and get killed, but I'm not going to teach my son to be fearful of anything. The only thing right. you need to do is go right. I agree. So, you know, um, sometimes we have to look at everything as a whole. And that's why I love to listen to the younger generation. And I love to listen to the generation of my, my um, days and the um, generation of that came before me because you learn from everything. And when you mm-hmm. learn from everything, that makes you more powerful to go out and, and, and deal with the world. So that's correct. Hey, that's, that's absolutely that's right. Man. Jump in there. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm saying hey, I, I I respectfully disagree with every last one of y'all. <laughs> 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 and I say respectfully, and I say that because one, when you talk about people like Oprah and Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan is one of the biggest black men that owns the most private prisons in America. And we know the private prisons is the number one place for uh, African-Americans in, 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 in the United States. And during this pandemic, Oprah is asking poor people who need money to donate money to other poor people who need money. That shit ain't cool. Um, we can't keep, the thing about it is, is these people that are in a position of quote unquote power or wealth, they are only rich by the means of another group of people. We like we can't say we got to support the people who made it and will make it too. The system not built for that. It's like it's like you know those you know those little robot things where you, you got the red and the blue one and you got to punch the head up and like you got the controls yeah. and you're like, yeah. like, yeah. like yeah. Yeah. you don't beat that game by by grabbing the other person's control. You got to have your control yourself and you got to beat it at its own game. So that's why it's imperative. We keep saying we got to get our kids to be police officers. No, we need our kids to establish its own police system. We don't need our kids to be congressmen. We need our own. We need our own Congress. We don't need. Uh, we don't need a president of the United States. We need a president of our United Systems. That's what we need. That's what we need to establish. We have never right. established that. We established Black Wall Street, and we failed to. We no one speaks on how that is the biggest terrorist attack on United States soil. Not 9-11. They bombed, they bombed Tulsa, Oklahoma for three days. The United States government did. That's how that's how Black Wall Street got disbanded. If we had our own army, our own government, we would send our army and government to go after or to protect our land. We don't. We're under protection of those who are still killing us. That is, the police is not a part of the Constitution. That they have no constitutional right to oversee us. They are a militia. They are the government's militia. We have to establish our own to protect us. They made us believe that Marcus Garvey and the Black Panthers were terrorists the whole time that they are attacking and terrorizing us. And to go back, like, yes, yes, the the gentleman that got murdered is that's horrendous. But are we are we forgetting uh, 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 about Emmett Till? Are we forgetting about the, the 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 thousands and hundreds of thousands of men and women who were lynched by police officers, judges before we even had any person that was rich? Are we forgetting that Madam C. J. Walker became a millionaire without even having to use the system that? We are talking about using right now in order to educate our children. Mm-hmm. We don't need them to support us. We need us to support ourselves. We keep going to things that they built and saying we need to get our people in there. No, that's their shit. But but wouldn't it be easier 
to go it's to not about somebody. easier. No, no, no I'm, it's not I'm about saying, easier. I'm, what I'm saying is, wouldn't it be easier to go to Oprah, someone like you, and sit her down and to educate her? See, we we just don't don't Boy, don't just educate those you know uh, blue collar level. Educate somebody like Oprah to start bro, you think with about this thing. Though. You got to think about this though. Educating Oprah to destroy a, a, a system that has put her in a place of power wouldn't benefit her. But that she don't believe that. But see, that's, that's her thing. She but, don't believe Oprah. But she's been in a position and power to do that. So no, it's not easy. Because the, when you talk about Oprah said something 25 years ago, Oprah still didn't do it. No, no. But she, but she gave a reason as to why. And I'm going to be honest with you. I, 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 you know, I looked at him like, yo, I can, I can see what she's saying because don't nobody want to get behind anybody and be consistent with it. Because if that but was that's the, case, the issue, though, bro. If about that's the leader, the I'm not getting behind that leader. Running. That's not getting behind understanding that if you're the leader, you have to make the first move. You cannot wait for your congregation to to lead but, you. You're no longer the leader. The leader, the leader don't right. do anything right. without soldiers. The leader, that's not the true. leader never do anything without the proper. That's backing. not true. A leader Name becomes one a leader. leader. Because Name one leader. The soldiers leader. follow a true leader that is for them. But no one is going to. No one is going to follow a person that is not for them. These people who are in position are in position because they took care of themselves, not because they took care of the community. They they are making off of the community and but not making they, for they're in the a community. position to take care. They've of the community been in position, now. bro. They've but, been in position, and this is what I'm saying for somebody. How many from, people have been willing to support them? What, how do you think that Oprah became a billionaire? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, if you went to Oprah and you had and you sat down and you spoke to her it, like you're speaking to us, and Oprah was like, you know what? I never had anybody come to me like that, and you enlighten her. Then you know what I'm doing? I'm doing the same thing that we're doing to the government. I'm doing the same thing that I'm doing to white people. I'm waiting for someone to save me instead of me saying, no, no you. No. Hold on, you're working no, with, hold on, you're working hold on, hold on. with your sister. Hold on, hold on. No, I'm going to hold you, you, you accountable to making the same moves that you want Oprah to do. We have to do it. It can't be one person that saves us. This is like you, I'm, me, I'm not saying him, Oprah her, is going to do all the saving, but if you present brother, your ideas to Oprah and Oprah say, you know what, Logan? Help me. Is there anybody else like you that think like you? We can reach out and we can well, do it. I'm going to tell you this. I, it's 50 of us already, right? It's 50 of us that put our own money up that's about banking and working with each other, right? But I'm not, I'm not concerned or worried about nobody else. You know why? Because I'm building a community of like-minded people. And the way that I build a community, I'm not worried about your words. I don't care what you say to me. Because mm -hmm. what you say to me got to match your actions. Because yep. if your actions and your and your words don't match, it don't mean nothing. Now let me tell you this: the same thing that you're telling that you're saying we should do with Oprah, we have been doing that for centuries and generations. Your mom's 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 mom had the same belief, and it has failed. That is why his young brothers like me they get angry when I hear that because because we are relying on someone else and we seeing it. We we get sent. I got sent to a very good school, right? I went to a very good school and I seen the difference from what their parents teach them and what my, my parents, I have really good parents. My parents, very great parents. They didn't know a lot of the stuff that they know now. But these, but my friend's parents, they did know. They had, they, they had an advantage. I had to go and find the information from sitting at their dinner tables and learning from them. And then taking it back to my house and say, listen, this is what I learned. But then it's like when you do that as a young, no, that's not what we need. How is that not what we need when everything that you're telling me that we should be doing, you tried and then it failed? Hmm. Did you try making your own systems completely? I don't care about the easy because whatever is easy now is going to be hard for you later. I'd rather work hard now and now, get the now, easy. I, the I agree with that. But if I'm going to go to war and I know across the street got one of the biggest weapons and that can help us win, I'm going to go get the biggest weapon to give us a better chance of winning. That's what I'm saying. You can't you know what? Shot. By the time you that's called divide and conquer. By the time you go yeah, over, they go be successful. By the time you go get the biggest gun to to combat, at least half of your half of your army is already deplenished because you left to go get the biggest gun instead of already having your biggest gun when you was time for you to attack. 
But if you ain't got the resources, if you ain't got the resources, we got all the resources. You know what I mean? Billionaires, we got this black. It ain't changed nothing. It ain't changed nothing for you or me. Why not include them? I don't, I don't, I'm not about to, I don't have to tell you nothing. I shouldn't have to tell you that black people getting killed every day is a problem. I shouldn't have to tell you that mm-hmm. that your kids mm-hmm. growing up in a society where they can get gunned down just for taking a job down the street is a problem. I shouldn't have to tell you that having your son play with a toy gun in the middle of the park is a problem. I so shouldn't let, have to tell let, you let me ask that you, no, I'm so not telling you that. When, you are, when, when, no, when those, those colored that. individuals speak out and they speak against the, the, the speak white Speaking don't do nothing. Man, they they've been look, we got plenty of people with money. We got plenty of people with money that's been doing a lot. And I'm gonna be honest with you. But that's the ones that do the most talking, they're in the community. That's not your money. That's not their money. It's not. But at the same time, why not include them in this war? Bro, they took they they set they set us up with a with a system of gold. Change the gold and print it their own money. You cannot combat the people that print the money when you're talking about using the money. If you want to get them to actually crumble and fall, you have to take their tools away. The dollar, what do we do every day? What you do every day? You trade your God-given talents and gifts for a man-made substance. Every Every day, and tell yourself. Also, see non non black people and colored people doing the same thing. So, is it slavery for them too? It is because it's a system. It's not about black and white. It's a system. But if from from up, but even back in the days of Egypt, you had people working for somebody. You had black kings and queens that had black people and working right. for them. The world was the world runs on business when it was created out of love. So you cannot expect you you can't expect for you to get the outs the outcome that you want to get when all you're doing is worrying about business. That's all. The United States of America is a business. It's ran like a business. It's incorporated like a business. It is a business. When in business, your employees do not matter in your business. You know why? Because it's your bottom line. If you are in business, if your business is failing, you're going to cut those people that are depending on their dollar. That is exactly what's happening now. Look at look look at it. Them same people that we're talking about that are in positions are getting tax breaks. Why is people that are at home hungry? Mm. The same people who are saving lives every day make less money than a person that's sitting on their computer. I make more money than essential workers, and they are more essential to than me. Mm. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that's not wrong. But it's the system, bro. You cannot have your cake and eat it too. You cannot have a system that is set to de- deprive you, and then but, say that you want to work with it to make it better was, for you. But that goes back to what I was saying. If you have individuals that could help the war, why not include them? Well, let me. Can I they, say something? They was going to do it. They already did it. We right, been at war. This the war didn't right. stop when right. Amar got killed. Right. right. We've been like, at war. The thing about it is. I get what you're saying. Like people in positions with money, but the thing about it is, just like we sit down and we watch television and we read the um the paper and watch the news and be on Instagram, they do the same thing. So if you in a position, nobody has to tell you. You should go out if that's what you feel. If you want to back black people or back or build a school, then you should do it. And I agree with that. Nobody should have to. LeBron James did it without nobody asking. We see every day. But see, see, LeBron LeBron made fifty three million last year. LeBron, LeBron made $3 million dollars last year. Wait, wait, guys. Can we respectfully give lot, each other a so we can't yeah. hear each other? Right, right. But 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 <laughs> okay. a lot of these folks that 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 we're talking about, yeah, I agree with you, Mo, but it goes back to their publicists advising them or their attorneys advising them, hey, you can ruin your brand by by following this cause. So it's one of those things as an individual, that that leader you're talking about, you could talk like a say a Tyler Perry or Kevin Hart or Oprah. Somebody's in that power that they can do something. It has. They have to be able to to be, uh, for lack of a better word, a Donald Trump and go against what your advisors are saying and stand up there and fight. You understand? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? You got to be the person. But they've got so many people in their back of the ear that they're paying to tell them, "Hey, no, we protecting the money." Brand, so, yeah, the money. Right, my brand. You know what I mean? I don't want to. I'm glad you mentioned my brand. Pride. 
Tyler right. Perry because he he had people supporting him, his people. He was right. able to start his own studio. Exactly. So that's what I'm so, saying. You got it. You can't. And that's what Logan was just saying. Right. But this is the thing, though. If Tyler Perry stopped paying his property taxes on that place, Tyler Perry no longer has a studio. That's not his. See, you, you see, brother. You, it's not. You can't have your cake and eat it, too. You reach it. You reach about it. ownership. We're not teaching our kids ownership. But but, but you We're reaching with that like, one. Like when it's you like teach, every time. You, and, that's, and that's the problem with this generation. You can say something and be like, oh, yeah, that's the point. But then you go there. Y'all stay reaching instead of looking at the pop How is that a reach, though, bro? If that's you want to talk about, right? oh, we can talk about problem with generations because the generation before us settled. That's why we're in this position right now. But no, let's no, talk no, about no, no. it. The let's problem, talk about it. Problem, let's talk about problem, it. The problem, the problem before, before now. Now. I'm going to tell you the problem before us. We not, we not I'm, before a, I'm a 29-year-old black man, and I'm not going to sit and let you kill nobody <laughs> on my block. I don't care what color or race you are. I will fight against the police. I have done it before. But I guarantee you that the same black man that's older than me just sat and watched somebody get their ass kicked by the police. And they talk about I'm the problem. What? Oh, you the problem. They, no. We scared. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. We are scared. You're talking about, you're talking about minute, Logan. something that may have happened, you know, things that have happened. And that's the problem with this your generation. It's still happening. Talking, so uh, it happened. But at the same time, oh, I've seen killed. plenty of your Another generation. Man just got killed yesterday, shot in the back. I've seen plenty of your generation do the work for the white man. Mm -hmm. I don't see oh. any of y'all pulling each other up. Did, did y'all forget? Did you forget that? Did you for, hold on? Did you forget that Malcolm X got killed inside of a black establishment by black We're not people talking from about a white Malcolm man? X. We talk about but, your no, generation. No, no, no. You got to though. No, you no, got no. to though. You we, got we can, to. but we talk about you, your you generation. You got to though, because the same. We talk about little this school. Is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I'm gonna hold you accountable for what you said. RL, I'm gonna hold you accountable for what you said. You just said that you've seen people in my generation don't use stuff for the white man. Huh? You just said. You just said that you seen. My generation do stuff for the white man. Did you forget that Malcolm X was killed for the white man by a black person? That's not no, my generation. No, 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 no. no, no. We're no, talking no, no. about your generation. Let's stay with no, your no, generation no, we got first. Don't, don't jump don't, back don't, 60 no, no, no. Oh, just let's talk to the about, same standard. Let's talk about the 300 oh, plus murders in Baltimore. Ain't no, white man, ain't no white man in the hood killing brothers. This is your generation. Bro. This bro, yours. Ain't no, bro, are you, are you serious? Are you, are you serious? serious? Are you forgetting the time? <laughs> Let's talk about the good times. You remember Good Times, the TV show? You don't remember so when just, JJ and them was about to get with y'all had games back, back then. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hold yourself accountable. Black on black killing ain't just start. Black on black killing ain't just start. Who 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 allowed dope into the neighborhood? I wait. Who allowed crack into the neighborhood? What generation? Hold on, time out, time out. What generation? Who helped the crack and the dope into the uh, hood? What generation allowed it to happen? What group? Black people. Black Panthers. Mm. Say I'm wrong. What? But hold Say on. I'm wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Say I'm wrong. Hold on, hold on. What, what generation that's from though? Oh, all right. No, so don't, like, all right. Can I, um, can so I, don't, I, don't, don't, don't make it a generational wrong. thing. I, that's black people. Mean, the, you ain't a generational thing. It's a Wait snowball a effect. Right. Look. Time out. Time out. Y'all too. Let me say this. Both of y'all have very good points. And my thing is, when you exactly. have power Wrong like point. that, that's what I'm saying. When you have power like that, you have to bring that together. It's not one generation after another generation. Let's bring the young folks. Let's bring. It's all our fault. It's right. all our fault. So that's the solution. We're talking about racism. Right, here. but as, a, as, as from the youth perspective, I cannot, my thing is, I'm in the middle of both of y'all generation. So I'm saying this as a woman. Like my thing is. Yes, like you said, you disagreed earlier about what we said. I don't disagree with none of y'all because I think that we all have a good point. And the only way that we're going to survive this is if we get together. We can't blame generation of old and old and new and whatever. It's called teaching. And if we don't teach one another, then we are still having the same problem. But us going together, I mean, coming against each other like we're doing. The only way we're going to be able to build is come together and build. That's why I said Education just don't come from the old. It comes from the new. It comes from the in between. That's the only way we're going to solve the problem. It ain't no. Let me blame this generation. Let me blame that generation. So we can do that all day. Let's go get money from Oprah. We can do that all day. But we see her sitting around making promises or whatever she's doing, and she's not coming through. She has a TV. She has everything just like we do. But I do agree that black people have to come together and stop blaming. We got to support each other. We can't say, oh, you. You know, this costs too much, this, this, that, and the other. No, we got to support each other. Stop making excuses for one race to another, to one generation to another. 
because we're never going to build like that because we're going to keep having these same issues going back and forth. So how do we solve that problem? And that's the point. How do we solve or how do we get out of this point where we still have racism? And that is the main factor here. We still have racism, no matter how you want to look at it, how you want to color it. We still are dealing with racism in a different mm-hmm. form. Mm-hmm. That's it. Two, two things. And I'm, so two I things. I got one for <laughs> Savvy and I got one for Logan. Savvy. Yes, sir. You are not between our generation. You are you're older <laughs> than me. That was <laughs> I can't forget no older than you. I'm sorry. You're older than me. There you go. The, the second, the second thing. Coming. The second thing. Right. Hey, hey. Look up Michael Jordan, the, uh, who are uh, investing in prisons, and get back to me, Logan. All right, I got you. But let me ask you this question, though, right? Uh huh. Why does it matter if there's racism or not? It really doesn't. If there's no, it's not going to be the appropriate action. It really doesn't. So we what? So if the so <laughs> should the question really be what? Because when I hear people talk about we got to support each other and we got to talk about education, let's talk about education on taxes, right? When if you come into this country, you get a tax break to start a business, right? Yeah. We don't. So, yes, you are going to pay a little bit higher than the next person is because they don't have the same the same uh, responsibilities or 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 uh, what is it called? Um, expenses as the next. We have to we have to understand that we're going to fight an uphill battle this regardless of whatever decision we decide to make as a people. It's always going to be an uphill battle, but we cannot I stress it. We cannot take the easy way to accomplish anything. Because it will come back to bite us in our butt. We have tried every and any and everything. We tried the Black Wall Street. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We ain't try everything. We ain't try separation, and that's the problem. We, did. we had separation, but we fought so hard to be incorporated, mm-hmm. not knowing that our power would lie within ourselves. Like, if you really think about it, yo, Black people are really like the strongest group of people on earth. Yes, and I are. say that to say, before we were slaves in America, we were still slaves where we were from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yet we still, no matter where we are, however hard it is, we still are able to, great, to bring ourselves to an even playing field with our counterparts. Now imagine if we did not play that game and we created our own. Mm-hmm. We forgetting that the same people that we asking to be equal with, we had to teach how to bathe. Mm, talk about that. How to cook their food. How we, to read their taught them how to live civilized. Yep. Yeah, we're barbaric. And they tell us what's professional. Mm-hmm. That's not, this is professional. This right here, this is black professionalism. Warriors, warlocks, kings had locks. The strong had locks. They will do any and everything to tell you that it's another way for you to live. But the closer that we get to becoming our free selves, it's the time that they want to bring us back into the bubble that we allow ourselves to stay in. It's so much that we as a people or just people deal with on a daily basis that we don't take the time and just say, yo, this is not what life is. Life is not about who got the biggest house. Because if it was, houses would be a part of nature. We continuously offset the balance of nation, trying to see who is the best, the smartest, the strongest, the brightest. No one ever puts in competition who loves the most. Mm, talk about That's that. never a competition. How much love did you show today? How much money did you make today, though? Mm-hmm. How many people's lives did you change? How much did they pay? Mm-hmm. How big did you buy that for? What's in your bank account? 
What's in your heart? Right. Do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We we keep talking about, you know, this and that, and this and that. Not one time did we say, well, what about love? Mm-hmm. For ourselves. Mm-hmm. Right. Right? That is it's like so deep. It's like so many things. It's and it's and it's really it, you know, you can never you can't say we gotta get over slavery and oppression. That's not that's not the way that you that you go through trauma. Right? There's trauma that is embedded in you that you don't even know that it was embedded in you, right? Like um you you may not know, but in slavery, if your production went down because you was tending to your kids, they could get sold and sent to another plantation. So when your mom yells, you ain't never good for nothing, you ain't doing you didn't know that in slavery that was to protect the kids. We're not enslaved no more. It's not time to do that. Oh, you got a big, strong, smart. No, sir. No, he is dumb and dumb as a dumb as a doorknob. He's not intelligent. To save him. Mm-hmm. We never changed that. We never brought the love back into us. Mm-hmm. Love has been drained away from us. Singing songs together. Even in the midst of the most debacle parts of our history. We had unity and peace. Mm-hmm. And suffering. We unify in our suffering, but we do not include each other in our peace. And that's so imperative that we we have to include each other in our peace. Mm. We walk past each other and, and grab our pockets and, and clutch our purses when we see each other. What's this nigga about to do? What's this nigga looking at? Why he looking at me like that? <laughs> he crazy? You want he want to go? You want to fight, nigga? We can fight. Why? Why? Because we are taught. We are taught to hate ourselves. We are taught to hate anybody that look like us. So That's why, why not teach each other to love each other? Exactly. Exactly. And that's, and that's what the, the point line. that I was trying to, that's, that's, right, trying that's to where make. It like, start. Right. Like, that's the point that I was trying to make. Like, we all have mm-hmm. different opinions, mm-hmm. and that's good. But the thing about them is, the bottom line is, we, if we want to get over the hump, we have to come together. And you're 100% right. It starts with that word, love. Right. Because it's hard to love somebody that's not family. You know what I mean? It's hard to go outside your home and love somebody that don't live with you and do something kind out your heart with, without wanting anything back. Right. So yeah, love. The word starts with love, and I agree with that. Mm-hmm. And, I, and that goes back where, where they talk about when, when, when you take God out of school or religion out of school and you know all that stuff. It, it goes, we had to have a base, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't but think we want to go into that conversation. Religion, we, even with religion, you know, back <laughs> in the day we didn't have religion. Right. We just all, you know, we love one God. Even when when we when we was in different countries, it wasn't mm-hmm. about a religion. It's about right. what we knew, what we had to serve, and what we had to do, and that's peace right. and love and stuff like that. So when we started putting labels and names, and I'm this and I'm that, that's when we lost we 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 um lost that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm Christian. I'm Muslim. I'm Jehovah Witness. I'm this. I'm that. You and, know, and it, it went back to I'm this one's better than that one. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know? Right. I love oh, you know, that ain't good. This I one's love better. Islam, but I love Islam. Just like I love Islam, God. I love my Christian right. brother. Right. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, and I hate using this word, but I'm gonna use it just so that, um, for the, uh, for the context. I hate saying Africa, right? Because yeah. Africa is is named after a white man. There you um, go. That's true. Go ahead. Keep right. that true. Right. 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 So, yeah. and I always pronounce this word wrong. So for, for, forgive me, but Arkipulin, Arkipulin, I want to say that's how you pronounce it. This is the name of Africa, right? Before it was Africa, before it was Kemet, Kemet and Arkipulin, Kemet and Africa, right? But there's an old 
proverb, right, that says that we were not gods, but we were big, strong, intelligent, right? And the reason why is because we had a direct connection to God himself. Yeah, right. And we taught a group of unworthies how to communicate with him directly. And he severed the ties with us. And that's what made us slaves. Kind of like the story of Ham, right? Um, but it, it, it's deep. And it, it, like the story explains like how, you know, black people, like if you look in like um, the, the anatomy, how they like the, the ancient um, Africans had bigger skeletal structures and their heads were longer. And um, there's a lot of, there's tales that say that black, that if, if, that if, 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 if you're in a, 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 a fire and, you know, you burn down and just mind you, this is your story. They say that there's a piece in the back of your neck that it connects, that, that, would connect to your brain, but we don't have that anymore. But it's just, just to say, like, there's so much power in us that we mm -hmm. don't know about. Yeah. Right? Because we we don't we don't pray to the same gods that we prayed to before we came here. Mm -hmm. We we don't practice the same um, uh, practices that we did before we came here. We don't have the same culture that we had before we came here. We don't. And, and it's like, and it's okay to be confused, but it's not okay to accept the ignorant state that we, that we have found ourselves into. It's not okay to not seek the knowledge that we, that we need to know, you know, and it's imperative that we have these kind of conversations so that we can learn and continue to learn, you know, there's things that I learned from people younger than me and I learned things from people older than me, you know, it's about life experiences. But at the same time, it's imperative for us that we hold, no matter what we do, no matter what we say that we're going to do, like when we leave this call, we say, we're going to, I'm going to do this. We got to hold each other accountable. That's right. So whatever it is that you say you're going to do, forget just a race thing. As a man or a woman, if your word isn't strong and your character isn't strong, I don't want you around me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And that should be how it is, period. Whatever you say that you stand on, that you stand for, stand on that when when other people aren't around. Right. Yeah. If you if if you for the betterment and events, because I'm not I'm not anti anybody, right? I love white people. I love Spanish people. I love all people. I love, but I am pro black. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I am. I am not about downgrading anyone else's race for me to up for, for me to upgrade my race. However, I am going to publicize the love right. that I have for my people. Right. Got you. Right. You know? Hey, so we got about I want to say about five more minutes. So I don't know how we want to wrap it up. Um but this was great. <laughs> This is a hell, one hell of a topic. I mean, we could probably even table the part two, part three. We can keep going with this because right. um, I think this is a topic that will never go away. It, well, it it'll go away, but it needs work, and it needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of it need a lot of discussions like this, a lot of discussion because we got to get the once you we figure out the root and, and and all we can all agree on the root cause, then we can build from there. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And it's one of those things where. It's a work in progress. Um, so I guess um, 7 p.m. We can start with you. Just, um, I guess if you want to let the folks out here we'll know, you know, what you're about. You, 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 man, brother, you brought some great, great topics, great education. <laughs> we really hey, man, appreciate, appreciate you. Gotta listen to my music, man. Yeah, yeah. man. The same way. Bad, bad, man. Yeah, man. I can't. I got some new stuff coming too. I got, definitely got some new stuff coming. Um. Um, once once again, I want to thank y'all for just allowing me to come onto y'all platform. Um, and abusers, no problem. <laughs> pleasure, pleasure. Um, and yeah, man, man, just follow me at seven pm underscore music. Um, right. Make sure you follow Renaissance underscore marketing underscore. 
anybody needs any billboards, hit any of those pages, we can definitely take care of you. Um, and yeah. Keep locked into this because this this right here, this platform is crazy. I, I enjoy right, it. Y'all right. are we appreciate it. crazy dynamic. Um, seven. <laughs> Tell them your idea. Let them know what you asked me about what we should do. About the billboard. Let's oh, talk, talk about when we're not on live. Oh, I'm, I'm going to do for y'all. I'm not going to do the be, show you know naked or I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> you know, when we. All right, well, I'm going to pop in. I got you, time. though. I got you, though. We can get on the phone, come up and later and talk. You know what I mean? But I don't want to put, you know, what I got for y'all personally. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right, right. But whatever right, you got, you. thank you, brother. Yeah, yes. much appreciate. Thank you. Much appreciate. Hey, I definitely got something for y'all, though. But yeah, billboard started at hundred dollars. Anybody need a billboard? Hit me. Billboard. All right, cool, cool, cool. We might, we might need one for the show. <laughs> I, hey, let's do it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm everyone. You know, out there, I'm um, DJ PRS One. Um, and for those of you who really don't know, just tuning into us. This is Good Vibes TV, but we're all, you know, whole uh, potpourri of, 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 of cultures and, and backgrounds and all that stuff. That's where we come in and we have all these crazy discussions and all so different, issues again. you know, so I'm going through my, I'm tagging, I'm tagging. Um, I'm, I, I run Trinity Spice FM. Um, I own Trinity Spice FM. It's a little uh, Caribbean station that we have. Um, you can always find us on, um, you can download it on, on, you know, basically our free app is available on ios and android platforms um you can also get us on your alexa devices basically enable trini spice fm in your alexa skill store just for your caribbean vibes you know just we vibe and there's a lot of music on there i got a lot of caribbean djs that come on any caribbean djs out there that you know hit me up um i get you a spot on there we do a lot of you know real cool stuff like that and we're stretching out we're getting you know thing but it's basically this business was started off of love, the love of music, the love of culture, the love, the love of, it, it's not about the money. I don't make any money doing this. I just love it. You know what I mean? So with that, I'm going to hand you over to Savanya, who's also doing a lot of stuff from love. <laughs> yes. Yes. Everything I do from love. Yes. From the heart. Right. So, you know, I'm the founder of Savvy Events. We're still pushing forward for um, our show, Fashion Statement 2. I want to give a shout out to everybody from my team. The models that's been um, patiently just um, being patient with everything. And I also want to give a shout out to Mr. Lamont Elliott. Thank you for um, having my back today and telling me to come on because I wasn't feeling it today. So um, anyway, um, look out for things that he's doing. You can find him at actor Lamont Elliott on Instagram, um, Lamont Elliott on Facebook, and business underscore 622 on Instagram. and He's back to work, guys, so he's really um, excited and pushing and everything. So we got a lot of stuff in the store for him. So, yeah, I just want to get back to my grind because this right here, you know, I love doing the show and everything, but I got to get my feet out there so doing this work. Sad paper. You see this? You see this? Yes, sir. You see this? What's up? I got to talk to you because you know, I was ready to jump in, and but I ain't going to say nothing. Um, hey, look, it's the same old, same with me, Royal Legend. Uh, get this book out here, clothing line, all that good stuff. I'm even going to start my OnlyFans.com um, thing. If you got a foot, hey, y'all yeah. can check me out. Man, five dollars a month subscription. No sir, no sir. Hey, yo, you gotta chill, b. <laughs> oh, man, they said oh. they said they like feet, man. Yeah, oh, I thought it was Dad's with Gut that time. <laughs> well, I'm signing up for that one. Give me a couple right. more. Give, give me a couple more months on this quarantine. Yeah, yeah right, 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 right. So I, I guess that that's we're gonna close our show out on that again. Thank Mr. Logan for coming on for the second time, brother. Really appreciate yeah. your uh your intellect. You dropped knowledge. Hopefully, uh, some people who was watching can walk away um just better informed and uh, more enlightened. Um, thank you everybody who tuned in to us again for the tenth episode really appreciate the support and love and uh, as always remember to do something for others but also do something for yourself love others and love yourself gbtv till next time peace out love y'all